All right. So this, I know for a fact, I'm going to be incorporating come January 1915 uh, in my game, which is uh, air assets. And uh, this is um, an example of the mechanism I'm going to use for reconnaissance. I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with strategic bombing, how to replenish uh, the air asset points, uh, maybe tie them into a technology thing like later on. But this is, to me, going to be as much of the air combat as I'm going to get at the operational level at this or at this level. I love it. So what it is going to be right now is let's just pretend that uh, both sides have three uh, air asset points. And I want to find out, the, uh, the uh, Austro-Hungarians here, want to find out what's going on, uh, what the strength points, what's going on here uh, north of the Boog River before they start mounting any attacks. So they can, um, you can uh, perform a reconnaissance. Um, as long as you have uh, any HQ, so a core or army HQ that's not in a uh, threat zone and um, is in clear or broken terrain. I'm just trying to simulate that you can't, not going to have airstrips in the middle of the woods and that stuff. And yes, I understand it's like hex sides and just like I said, I just want to go, I'm just going, I want to keep things simple. Then, um, I'm, uh, so the third army would say, okay, you know what, we're going to, we're going to, um, uh, do a reconnaissance from here. It's going to cost one point. The Russians counter that because maybe they don't want um, they don't want the Austro-Hungarians to see what's going on here. So they say, okay, we're putting down a point. So now they're tied. So the Austro-Hungarians really want to find out what the heck is going on here. So they go, okay, I'm going to use a second point. But they don't want to go any further because they may have to. There's still a remainder of the month left, and and you're not getting any more kind of thing. I'm not going to have like in the middle of the whatever. You get, like let's say once a month kind of thing. Let's keep things mellow. So the Russians go. You know what? We're we've also got some other stuff to do later. So we're going to stop. But at least they've kind of whittled away a bit of their. Um, uh, you know, air assets kind of thing, the Austro-Hungarians. So there you go. So they're allowed to go, and it's eight hexes from the uh, point of origin. You don't have to do a return trip. I've already factored that in uh, before with uh, looking at, uh, 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 you know, uh, round trip uh, speed, uh, round trip distance of an airplane and all that stuff at this point. Just we're going with it. So here we go. So it'd be basically anybody here. So it'd be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So therefore, uh, the Russian player would have to reveal all the strength points um, from there. And if it was also, um, for example, even if there was a headquarters there, would uh, also reveal the um, the supply points. I see nothing wrong with this. Um, I love it. And uh, yeah, that's that. I'm going with it.